Good day to everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, We Elevate Love. Let us elevate our skills. So if you are now ready, let's get started. This morning, I received an email from my boss. He said, I need your help to install the latest version of PowerCLI on the desktop and our jump host. I want to finish it before lunchtime. For the online installation, we need to make sure that we are running our PowerShell with administrative privileges. The PowerShell on our screen right now is already running with admin rights. The version that I have right now on my desktop. So the version right now is the PS version 5.1. So it's we are good to go. If your PowerShell version is not yet updated, you can download the Windows Management Framework 5.1 from the link below. And now, we are going to do the online installation of the PowerCLI on my desktop. Later, we will then do the offline installation on the Jump host. Save Module name and our power CLI and we should indicate the path where we are going to put the downloaded power CLI files so right now this is the command you can also take note of this and I will press enter and we will just say yes so we are going to press Y for yes and w what you can see right now it is already downloading see right now it's still downloading it's the temp file I'm going to show you so this is the location where the downloaded PowerCLI files are saved. So as you can see, it's already done downloading the files from the internet for the PowerCLI module. Next thing we are going to do is to, we already verified that the files are already there. So what we are going to do right now we are going to install the module for the power CLI. So the command is install module name and the VMware that power CLI. So I'm going to click enter. We will click yes to all. Then I will press A. So what you can see right now, inside the modules, there are no PowerCLI modules yet. But after, after I press enter, it will install and generate the files inside that specific folder. So I'm going to start the installation right now. As you can see, it is now installing and we can also verify that PowerCLI files are being saved in the PowerShell modules directory. So it means the installation is going smooth and uh, after the installation we can already verify uh, whether the power CLI is already installed and that can be used. Yeah, it seems the installation is already done. So maybe 
we can check again the folder so we can check and we can count how many folders are there right now so there, there are 23 21 folders being added inside the modules directory so all these 21 folders are for power cli let us now verify whether the power cli was installed properly and ready to use so the command that we're going to use is get module minus name vmware asterisk list available so press enter now we can already see that the power cli modules are already installed we will then verify the version of our power cli The version that we have is 11.5. Please note that all online installation of PowerCLI will get the latest version. This one, the warning message for us to, um, to get rid of it, we will run a command to get rid of this one. So we are going to um, type this command set power cli configuration space dash scope user dash participate in ceip and it's to false okay and yes to all okay so what we're going to um, uh, maybe let's check again the power cli version so it's not anymore showing the message to verify our aim of installing the power cli is to connect to our vcenter okay the command to connect to this vcenter is connect vi server space the name of the uh, vcenter server So we are going to type the fully qualified domain name. Okay, correct. So we are going to type now the um, credential for this uh, for this V center. I will type now the domain. The main is mark, so we have the administrator account and the password. Okay, like uh, what you can see right now, it is showing that there's an invalid certificate action. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to run one more command to ignore this certificate invalid certificate uh, message so this is the command you can also uh, um, note it down so you can use it in, for, uh, in your future um, activities at the office so the command is set power CLI configuration in dash invalid certification action and ignore and yes to all okay so after ignoring this then let's try again to connect to our vcenter server so i just copy this and paste it here and press enter let's again put our credentials we are already connected to our vCenter using our power CLI. Let's try to get the VM. Let's see how many VM hosts right now we have. 
This means that our PowerCLI online installation in my desktop is now complete. We will then move forward with the PowerCLI offline installation on our Jump host. We are already done with the online installation. I am going to bring you back to this location, to this um, uh, Drive C, Program Files, Windows, PowerShell, and Modules. It's very simple to do the offline installation. We are going to just copy this files our jump host. So we're going to copy and uh, map our jump host. So currently I'm using the VMware workstation and uh, this one okay so this is the folder location where I copied over the power CLI modules from our desktop we will check first the version of the PowerShell in this jump host we will verify first if the power CLI module was already installed in this jump host using get module minus name VMware asterisk space minus list available. Now we can see that there is no module yet for PowerCLI in this jump host. So what we are going to do is from the offline installation PowerCLI, the one that we copied over from my desktop, we will just copy it inside this location. See? Program Files, Windows, PowerShell, and Modules. The files are now copied over to the Modules folder. We will then verify again if the PowerCLI modules are already available in our PowerShell. It is now showing that the modules are already here. For us to verify whether it's working or not, uh, let's get first the version of uh, the power CLI get power CLI version upon checking the power CLI version is the latest with 11.5 okay so the offline installation looks great so for us to finally check whether it's working we will connect to our vCenter server using this command connect dash vi server and let's try yes connected so Let's try get VM host get VM. It's great. Today I showed you on how to install the Power CLI in two ways online and offline installation. Again, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my channel. See you again on my next videos. Have a nice day and God bless.